Number 93, an RC circuit consists of a 40 ohm resistor and a five microfarad capacitor. Letter A, find its impedance at 60 hertz and 10 kilohertz. All right, so um, impedance has the unit of, well, not the unit, but, well, it has a unit of ohm, but it has the uh, variable of Z, all right? And Z will be equal to the square root of the um, resistance squared plus the difference now between the inductive reactance, okay, or the reactive inductance, and the reactive capacitance squared. Now, this is an RC circuit, meaning it has a resistance and it has a capacitance. It does not have an inductance. So what will happen here is that you'll just cancel this term, all right? So this basically would reduce down to now R squared plus now negative X sub C squared. But I mean, come on, right? You know what's going to happen to the negative sign in there. So I'm just going to get rid of that, okay? Simplify our life a little bit. Now, what I realize is that I, in order to find impedance, I need to know these two things, right? I mean, rea um, resistance we know, but reactive capacitance we don't. They didn't tell it to us directly, so we need a formula. Think back to the prior 20 problems that we've done, right? The formula here for reactive capacitance, and take a look if you want to see the formula on the other on the other problems. All right, it's going to be one divided by now two pi times the frequency times the capacitance squared. So now we have enough information to plug in. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to do two calculations here. Okay, the reason is because they want us to do two frequencies. So this is going to be now forty squared plus then parenthesis one over now two pi times the frequency of 60 hertz we'll do first, then multiplied by the five microfarad capacitor, all right? And this is gonna be five then times 10 to the minus sixth farads, okay? Square that whole term, make sure that's over the root or under the root, under the root. All right, and then we would do the second thing. So we're basically going to do the same calculation here, 40 squared plus then it's gonna be one over two pi times the new frequency of 10 kilohertz, right? So it's gonna be 10 times 10 to the third because we need it in hertz. And then this is five times 10 to the minus sixth. Don't forget to square it, all right? And then let's go about our business. So let's do it. So the first one, second square root of 40 squared plus then parenthesis now, one divided by another parenthesis, two pi times 60, times five times 10 to the minus sixth, and close the double, double parenthesis, yeah, close the two parentheses and then square that value. So here we get a, a, an impedance here of about 532. So Z here is gonna be 532, and as mentioned before, the units ohm, I also explained in the prior problem. So now the second one is gonna be square root of 40 squared plus then parenthesis, one divided by parenthesis, two pi times 10 to the, times, times 10, times 10 to the third, then times five times 10 to the minus sixth, close the double parenthesis, square it. This is now 40, okay? 40.1 ohms. So this is exactly opposite now to what happens in the case of the, uh, of increasing frequency when we're talking about inductance. Take a look at number 92 to compare. All right, these two now answers, how the frequency has changed and how then the rate, uh, the impedances has, have changed, okay? They're inversely related. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. If it did, give us a hand. Like, subscribe, and maybe even mention us to your classmates, all right? We are very, very grateful, all right, for uh, your viewership and thank you for watching. And um, I hope these are helping. Take care.